Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video is for those of you that teach robotics and you're doing virtual online sessions. The big question is, well, Mr. Hino, what do I do with my class if I teach robotics but we're online? Today I have a really cool resource for you, so stay with me to see it. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. So for those of you in the same boat as Mr. Hino, where you're teaching virtual online sessions of robotics, it's like, Mr. Hino, what do we do? We don't have, you know, the students with the robotics kit in their hand. How do we teach them robotic things if we're online and we're doing live sessions and it's just, you know, really difficult to get them to understand concepts that they need to be in person with the robot in their hand when we're online. So today I have a really cool resource for you. Now it's not, it's not a fix all for everything. It's just another tool in your tool belt to use with other things you might be using. It is VEX VR. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, the resource is called VEX VR. Okay, right here. And what we plan to do is just go ahead and um, explore and just get your feet wet into this website. So as soon as you get to VEX VR, we're going to actually go to the actual site. So what's really neat about this is um, this can get your robotic students, um, just get them accustomed to a drag and drop type program. and. Um, it's completely free, so that was another plus for me. And it was just it was just easy to learn and easy for the students to just get accustomed to programming things in sequence. So real quick, um, over here on the left are all of your drag and drop blocks. We're just going to slide them under this when started um, block right here. Um, what we want to do first is just open up a playground. So the grid map is something that they can just start with to get accustomed to programming. So we're just going to slide this window over a little bit. So what we can do is just drag this drive forward for 200 millimeters. You know, we can obviously change this to inches too. But And then when we come over here and press the start button, it will just move forward. And then this timer down here kind of makes me nervous, but it's just a timer showing how long it is taking you to do something. So let's just um, drag in a turn right for 90 degrees. I can hit the stop button and then just restart this over again. So it goes forward and then turns right for 90 degrees. I can drag another block down here we can refresh that again. So it'll go forward, turn right, and then forward again for those 200 millimeters. So let's say that, you know, your students are working on a program and then, you know, the time is up and they want to save it for another day. You can come over here to file and we can save this program to their device. And the next time they come on to VEX VR, they can just come up here and they can load that project from their device. Um, another thing that I like in here is the dynamic wall maze. Wow, that's a really loud helicopter going by. So what's really neat is to be able to give your students a maze to be able to finish. Um, there's one thing you got to keep in mind though is let's let's just try to run this program that I already have up here. Uh, oh, my robot crashed. Um, if I try to stop this and refresh it, it's going to change the the maze. So a uh, word of caution: if you're having your students work on a maze, just have them hit this refresh button until the correct maze pops up again. 
it's just going to cycle through the different types of mazes that they have on here. But I, I just learned that um, while messing with this, that if you hit this refresh, it'll change the maze. So it'll screw up your program if you um, refresh this. But if you just scroll through it, the maze you were working on will come back. And what's really neat is um, if you start this, you can hit this button right over here and it gives you uh, the view of the robot that I thought was kind of cool. And look, your robot even screws up like it does in real life. So that button was right down here in the lower right. Um, and if you want to go back to the uh, up view, you can do that again. So it's a really neat way for students to be able to, um, at least if they're online and you don't have a robot in their hand, at least it gets their brain to think about programming and what can go wrong in their programming and go back and fix it. One other cool thing is when, um, if you didn't notice it, when you play the program, it highlights the block that's happening, um, just like it does in the EV3. Um, so if they do screw up, they can kind of tell what block they need to go back to and fix. So this uh, VEX VR is definitely a cool tool um, to just get your students um, programming and doing robotics even if they're at home and they don't have a kit in their hands. Before I leave you today, let me go ahead and show you video and the program for a VEX VR robot finishing a maze. you're thinking, Mr. Hino, how do my students, if they're at home, how do they share or transfer files that they've been working on to me? So I actually had my daughter um, basically save the file to her computer and she was able to email me her VR uh, file. So I was able to open up her email and basically um, add her file into the VEX so I could see what her program was and I could actually play um, you know, the video of her robot going through the maze. The only thing is if you did this with students, definitely have them um, name their file because, you know, you're, they're going to have to let you know whose file it is. And then for you, you'd probably have to have, you know, a special folder for all of the files to go into. And so for right now, that's probably the best idea if you want your students to be able to share their files or what they're working on with you. So those of you that are in the same boat as I am, I'm here for you. I'm trying to figure these things out for myself and whatever I find out, I'm gonna share with you. Just on the other end, if you guys have anything to share with me, I'd love to know about it because you know we're all trying to collaborate and you know give our students the best robotics knowledge that we can in this online virtual world that we're living in right now. So I would love for you guys to drop either ideas or links for us to try out and you know definitely use for our class if it you know fits what we're doing. So hopefully today's VEX VR was a good starting point for your kids to at least understand maybe the drag and drop blocks and just to understand the movements of the robot. And you know we're still we're still pushing to see what else we can bring to them. Okay guys so I am Mr. Hino from Machine Zyka Robotics. I'm out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care.